India is on the moon and now heading towards sun. Yes, I am not joking. Just look at ISRO's Aditya L1 mission. After a great success of Chandrayaan 3, Indian space scientists do not want a break for rest and rather working really, really hard to make India's ambition for space more closer and more successful. We created the video on Chandrayaan 3 and the usage of AI and you all loved it. Here is another video on the article that we wrote on Aditya L1 mission. This is not easy feat. It is much more ambitious than Chandrayaan 3. I will be covering the benefits and preparation done for Aditya L1 in this video. In case you find it exciting, consider subscribing us. This helps us and motivate us to do the right research and bring you the best from our research for your learning. Adit L1 is set to get closer to sun and study the radiation and uncover many mysteries, important hidden facts for us and our future generations. This will uncover some of the important aspects like imagine sun as onion and we want to study this layer by layer. We will get to know why the sun's outer surface is hotter than the core. We will also study the particles and the magnetic field around the sun, which will help us to do the weather forecasting, which will also help us how and what importance of these explosions are on sun. Our life on earth is highly dependent on sun. what will happen if sun dies. Exploring space weather. There are so many other things that we are going to uncover. So let's look at this, where we have Earth and we have Moon. Very recently, Earth to Moon, we launched Chandrayaan 3. 3. This was landed on 23rd of August, whereas we are already planning our next flight to Sun. This will be not exactly on Sun's surface because it's not possible. But we will reach to a place which will be 1.5 million kilometers away from Sun. What we are going to and what this mission's name is, it's Aditya L1 mission. It is scheduled for 2nd of September. While I am recording this video today, so tomorrow is the plan. So as we always pray for our India, we want this mission to be successful as well so that we will uncover lot of mysteries around our sun understanding the upper sun's layer so these are the mysteries that we are going to solve but let's understand what we have and what all different components what are the data analytics is done for making this mission successful so this is an image from isro we have multiple components installed in it visible emission line coronagraph VELC. This is a primary payload of Aditya L1. VELC is designed to capture high resolution image of sun's corona, the outer atmosphere at a closer distance than ever before. It is equipped with 40 precise optical elements and will be kept at a controlled temperature of 22 degrees. Then ultraviolet imager. Aditya L1 carries an ultraviolet imager that helps capture a specific wavelength of light from the sun. This tool allows scientists to study different aspects of the sun's behavior and characteristics. X-ray spectrometers, in-situ instruments, automated algorithm for CME detection. A special algorithm has been created by scientists to automatically detect coronal mass ejections using data from VELC instrument. This is crucial for understanding these huge gas bubbles that the sun releases and their impact on a spatial space weather uh, is India. Machine learning techniques. Everyone is talking about Gen AI or promoting a lot of things about Gen AI. Machine learning helps us to predict based on the data that we see and that's where the data this will collect will help us to quickly and correctly predict what will be the future and what will be the impact of characteristics produced by Sun. Support cell for data analysis. A support cell has been established to assist guest observes in preparing science proposal and analyzing the data collected by Aditya L1. 
clean room facilities and similarly there are other components i would highly encourage you to go and look at our website where we have a lot of interesting thing about the component installed as well as what all different techniques and algorithms used for data analysis. Field station observations. Observation made from ground field stations complement the data gathered by Aditya L1. So Aditya L1 will send the data. We will have the data prepared. We will do the data analytics and predict the future. Onboard intelligence algorithm. A unique onboard intelligence algorithm has been developed to automatically detect CME directly on Adit L1. This is a significant advancement compared to previous missions and adds a layer of autonomous decision making to the spacecraft. So we can say that we are creating autonomous rocket. We are no, no more interested in making autonomous cars. How's your excitement about Adit L1? What do you think? What all changes that Adit L1 mission will bring to everyone's life? Future generations. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section and thanks for watching this video till this point. Mind subscribing us.